the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonah. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know, people who try to traffic drugs yeah. go through a lot of trouble to hide them. You know, who are you, you, telling? S- you see them like inside. We saw the drugs that were they were they like put the drugs on the avocado flower so the fruit grew around the drugs. They put like they'll put them in like baby doll asses like the baby stuff. Baby doll asses is a weird <laughs> statement to make in the first minute and a half of the video, but we'll we'll let it roll. We'll let it roll. <laughs> put it in like statues of the Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> put it inside the stomach of a woman on a plane. Yeah, I get it. There's all kinds of ways yeah, to get it in the country. Yeah, there's all sorts of things. Yeah. So there was I think it was in California. They tried to make fake watermelons to fill them up with five five million dollars worth of meth. Wait, they're fake watermelons? Yes, they tried to make it so it looked like watermelon, and then they put them in like these big bins. Okay, I'm gonna bring up a picture of it while you're talking. Bring it up. Talk. They are. I don't know how any person got done making this and went. Yeah, this will pass as a watermelon. Look, come on. Paper mache, a little, little it looks like it's like colored plastic. <laughs> if you're watching the YouTube channel. I said it looked like AI, but you're not even wrong. It does kind of look like colored plastic. Like, so there's a big ass bin full, and they're like, nah, no one's going to notice this. I they're mean, not even you... round. They're lopsided. They're lumpy. Look, if I saw that from a distance, I'd be like, right, From whatever. a distance, you think customs ain't going to look at shit? It's in an open bin. <laughs> it ain't even there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's in an open bin. It's just a big ass open bin of fake ass watermelons. I love how it's in caps. Lock yeah, meth, meth watermelon. <laughs> so, like, I just, you know, I guess, like, if you're trafficking drugs like that, you're probably not the smartest person. No. Y- you know, and, u- and ultimately, like, the kingpin don't care because the kingpin ain't getting caught. It's all the people, other people who are getting caught, right? So they're like, yeah, dog, take it out. And then they just murder people who cause it to be. They're like, oh, now y'all are going to jail and I'm killing the person in charge because I lost my $5 million. Yeah, that's a lot of money to lose. It was $5 million worth of it. But, like, I just, Jeez. there has to be a better way. <laughs> yeah, by not doing meth. I mean, about that? that's the first way is don't do meth. <laughs> I'm not necessarily trying to give these guys pointers on how to get your drugs into the country or or distributed, but yeah, there probably is a better way than making paper mache uh, watermelons and thinking that's going to cut the cut the. Cost. how would you traffic? Me- I'm joking. <laughs> how would I, tra- <laughs> I honestly, I don't have the brain for that. It's very funny because I usually would try to sit there and brainstorm an idea, but I haven't even put the mental fortitude into thinking of something like that. Like it's yeah, not like, my I bag. don't. I don't. I don't. Well, I'm not a. I'm not a career criminal. So. Yeah, I would like. I feel would feel bad hooking that many people on meth. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the money what, would be nice. I guess. Yeah, I mean, but, like, I'll take five million dollars. But like at the at the like, how many families does that ruin? Yeah, that's. <laughs> That's some weight that you got to go to sleep with and you have to wake up with when you're in like your your penthouse suite in California or whatever. They're probably in Mexico and, somewhere. Yeah, and it's like all of those comforts are the only thing that can provide enough dopamine to quell the like the deep rooted pain that you have for actually causing that degree I of pain. I feel like people who do that don't even think about the lives they ruin. No. They don't even that's not it doesn't even cross their mind. That's crazy that you can get to a point of uh of just <laughs> You can get to the point where you have so much money that it, you, it doesn't even matter where you got it from. I just, I just <laughs> doesn't thought, even matter where you got it. It kind of doesn't. It <laughs> kind of doesn't. Tell that to the Telegram CEO. Tell that to the the main supervillain in uh, in the Crow movie. Oh, you know? uh, Jeff Bezos? No, <laughs> he is not the main supervillain. But maybe, probably, yeah, they say to get to to that point of uh, what's the, what's the term I'm Success? thinking? Success. Yeah, that, that that amount of success and to garner that much wealth that you kind of have to step on the backs of somebody. A ton of people. Yeah. Or or you're putting out product that harms people and you just have to not care. Yeah. You know, not that like Bezos is slinging meth, but like I'm sure Bezos has closed down some businesses and ruined some families and ruined communities. I mean, he does ru- own Amazon, which is closing down brick and mortars worldwide. Tell that to Woolworths, Sears. 
Uh, yeah. JC Penny. Blockbuster. Toys R Us. <laughs> Why are all of these companies going, oh, Amazon? Even Walmarts are like, uh, we're in competition. They're like the last standing because they beat everybody else too. Yeah, Walmart, Walmart. Walmart did the same yeah. thing, yeah. But they're the last of the brick and mortars. Walmart and Target, and Target is dying as well. So. Is it? It's not as big as Walmart, and if you're not as big, you're just food. You know? Just food eventually going to eat. Just food. Man, I'd like to take a bite out of Target. So, in the meth community, I don't know who's food. I assume it's some of the smaller guys. Yeah. But they're all food for the cops. Yeah. So was this this happened in America or does this happen it's in California? This so was in probably Cali. they're I don't know if they're trying to traffic in or out of California. It mm-hmm. could have been coming in from Mex- Mexico or going out to. Me- I doubt it's going out to Mexico. It's probably coming <laughs> in to to the United States. Oh, America is shipping meth to Mexico is yeah. crazy. That's <laughs> so insane. But you know, they'd be like, "No, sir, we have enough." Yeah, like little accent, uh, little accent. Yeah, I was like, ooh, non-offensive one. Walk right past that one. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I don't know though. I, I, I couldn't be a drug kingpin because I'm not ruthless enough to just like kill people at a, on a whim, and yeah. I have like a conscience. Yeah, and you know, like it, it's there's there's definitely a difference in the drugs. I wonder how many years you can get for being caught. Five million that. dollars in meth, probably yeah. life. So they're gonna snitch. These people are definitely yeah, but it's like they're all like, oh, the such and such cartel did it. They're like, yeah, we already want them. The, like, it's like when you're already a certain level of wanted, it doesn't matter what else you do. I guess that's y- fair. you know what I mean. Like, if I'm like, if I'm like a guy who's like stealing from convenience stores, you know, I got a lot to lose if I up my game. But if I'm like embezzling money from like a bank, you ain't got much more to lose at that point. Because whenever you get caught doing whatever you're doing, you're going to jail for that's a long fair. time. I will say is that it may it may uh, bring the, uh, the the local law enforcement to put more funds into apprehending them because once you realize that you have a five million dollar meth company running, we're like, oh, we need to remove you permanently from the streets at this point. Yeah. Whereas if you're like a small time meth dealer, yeah, they're gonna send some people to your house, but we gotta put some money into getting rid of you. So yeah. hopefully they they do get rid of these guys. Because I've seen what meth can do to people. Uh, yeah. I grew up in Ashtabula, Ohio. You can Google that if you want to. Find out for yourself. There's some meth there. <laughs> there's a little bit, man. So yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. There's some. There's definitely some hits home when it comes to that. So yeah, I, I hope that those people are brought to justice. Yeah, I mean, I definitely have seen meth and other drugs ruin people's lives and kill. I mean, not kill them, but they die because of the drugs like people we went to high school with and stuff like definitely have overdosed and killed themselves from that and stuff ruin their lives regardless so i mean like it it is it's an epidemic man it really is bad and they out here just being like let's ship it on into the states bro i mean you gotta make that money somehow right i mean if you ain't sending it in somebody else is sending it in that's the fact man are we gonna get rid of all the meth dealers i don't think so um because, you know, when it comes down to it, easy money, fast money, but it's only for, like, how long can you keep it up? Yeah, big money, no whammies. Wow. It really is kind of crazy behind every great fortune, there's a great crime, Jonas, you know? Yeah, there. well, everybody's fortune has somebody else's tears behind it, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you ride a raft of tears into your gold doubloon tank. As you swim in your gold ducats. You really got to be, like, an early adopter, before there's any rules. You remember like selling drugs is legal? Yeah. <laughs> do you remember them days? I, I do. I remember, do you remember the radio. That? What sell what other drugs you want, man? You good? I'm now like, oh. we and now we come back around because now you can go to Ohio and just go into a dispensary. Buy aspirin. <laughs> so anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Crazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh uh, yeah.